right this is our afternoon drive we're going home the car is gonna drive completely by itself welcome to the channel whoever's joining us for the first time uh, we're doing these drives in the morning and also in the afternoon and in this channel we do drone stuff and we also do Tesla stuff so here we go we're gonna let the car drive us home okay we're gonna activate it once this comes up and here we go so it automatically puts the, the turn signal it sees the other car that just passed by so it's doing the stop sign there's a stop sign here and then in this version the stop um, when it does the stop signs it makes um, it takes forever sometimes to um, go after the stop, but something that they're gonna work on. Like I mentioned on my pa past videos, once in a while you gotta let the car know that you're here. So that's why I touched the wheel. All right, so oh, another Tesla right there. So we're gonna see here. This is another thing I do not like how it stops in this middle road right here. We're gonna report that. When we touch on that, it reports it to Tesla so they can make the corrections, the corrections necessary for future updates. Okay, gotta touch the wheel again. Now it knows that we're gonna make a left here. I do not like how that slams on the brake there so i'm going to report that also all right looking for visibility there's a lot of cars coming on our left my foot is ready on right next to the brake just in case but the car should know here and there's another car coming big truck see right there and the car knew exactly when to go that's pretty good and it accelerated pretty good too there went from like 0 to 40 like in two seconds so that's pretty good thumbs up on that one all right I have here you must be wondering why does it say mistakes every time the car makes a mistake I'll go ahead uh, or a disengagement not exactly a mistake but a disengagement like what it's about to do right now I mean a disengagement <laughs> it didn't really do anything bad but um, I'll go ahead and put a line when it does a disengagement so yeah he's turning the wheel and there we go as you can see the display just turned dark that's because it's dusk right now, it's a sunset, I'm sorry, it's a sunset. And when the sun is setting, um, it's going to turn into night, obviously. And after that, we'll, at night, this, this, this black display shows up at night. Alright, let's bump up the speed 5 miles. So we're going 75 miles an hour. So our exit, it's coming up in uh, 6.4 miles. It's pretty cool how the car just does everything by itself like I mentioned in some other videos. We're going to go ahead and fast forward the video here a little bit and post. If not, I'll just upload it directly, no problem. the pond 
75 miles an hour it's 121 kilometers per hour so as you saw the blue flashing once again for people that don't know what that means that's just the car telling me that I haven't touched the wheel the last 30 seconds so if I touch it every two seconds or so um, the car will never show that blue screen let me change lanes here so to do a manual lane change you just gotta put your hand on the lever to change to put on the uh, signal and the car does the rest. So a lot of cars are braking here. We got a big truck in front of us. So the car detects automatically that we're going too slow so I put the signal so I could change lanes but there's a lot of other cars as you can see behind us let's see what's gonna do I'm just gonna cancel it no need to change lanes faster lane but I cancelled it there's really no need I'm in no rush so yes on this YouTube channel we're gonna be uploading almost daily driving with full self-driving with Tesla's full self-driving to see how the software evolves supposedly next, next weekend software 10.6 is coming out right now we're in 10.5 right, it wants to get into the faster lane once again let's see if it's gonna do it or not I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas here I don't see the need when we have okay let's let it do it by itself okay okay now you're on the faster oh i guess it saw that car that was going really slow so out of the toyota uh, corolla we're gonna need to get to the right because our exit is coming up in 2.5 kilometers so yeah there you go the car is gonna automatically change it sees that there's a car behind us and now it made the decision to change the the lane automatically now we're gonna have to change the lane one more time for the exit so far there's no disengagement so right now we have zero disengagements meaning that I had to take over really hard to type on this thing to write on this thing that's why I just rather uh, put mistakes instead of disengagements it takes me longer so one kilometer left and we're gonna change we're gonna exit so I'm gonna put um, here I'm gonna put it back to miles gonna exit now in the next 60 seconds or less much less than 60 seconds I meant to say 20 seconds or less there we're exiting now as you can see once again the blue thing came out because I hadn't touched the wheel in 30 seconds or so we'll put zero 
disengagements once we reach our destination. We haven't reached our destination just yet. Alright, look at that. The orange light was on and it took the orange light. Same thing that I would have not done, but oh well, <laughs> I said same thing. Anyways, we need to get to the right. As you can tell, the car is moving completely automatically to the right. We need to get one more time to the right and one more. Come on, come on, one more time to the right. You can do it. Next lane. There you go. Did it completely automatically. So this is basically the GPS. When you have another screen here, the GPS jumps to here. So let's see here. I see somebody on the bicycle, as you can see right there. That person's right there on the bicycle. <laughs> All right, I had to put my hand on the wheel. That's where I beeped. Go. All we need to do, we are in the neighborhood already. All we need to do is just go through the gates, see what it does on the gates. Let me get the gate clicker. Gate clicker here. Reduce the speed because I don't want it to go so fast. I'm gonna put it to 15 miles an hour. Holding this thing here, okay. I'm gonna make a left. Let's sometimes it gets confused here, so let's see what it does. I'm gonna just accelerate. We gotta go the other way. Okay, I'm gonna take over here. That's pretty much it. It got us home. I'm gonna reactivate it once because the GPS takes me to this street, but really I am on the right. But that's a GPS thing. So yeah. Let's see. I'm going to activate it. I'm going to activate it again. Right here. And let's see here. It knows it needs to make a left. As you can see there. It sees that other car coming out of the parking. Coming out of the house. That's why it's breaking. So it sees everything. Right there. So yeah, I waited for the car. It did everything completely on its own. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Which it should be tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe and we'll see you soon bye bye